The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, the Money Masters. Good day, Money Masters and Treasure Hunters. Welcome to the uh, June 16th magnificent Monday edition of the Money Masters show. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, the daily newsletter service that is the intelligence for creating financial freedom. Hope everyone out there had a, a great Father's Day. Well, hope everyone had a great weekend, and certainly for all you fathers out there, hope you had a great Father's Day weekend. It is uh, great to be back with you, and uh, let's do all that we can today to have an extraordinary Monday. My outcome, my outcome during the next hour is to help you to become a better money master, and that means I want to provide you with the tools that empower human potential. Because living up to our potential, folks, that's something you and I, we must master each and every day, so let's begin our day with empowering beliefs. Words of wisdom brought to us by our extraordinary producer, Al. And Al makes everything seem so seamless and easy, and I know that it is not. He starts his day with the following incantation. If you haven't heard this one, You'll want to write it down because it is a great one out there. Watch your thoughts, for they become words. Watch your words, for they become actions. Watch your actions, for they become habits. And watch your habits, for they become your character. And then finally, watch your character, for it becomes your destiny out there. Thank you to Al, our great uh, production engineer. Right now, we've got the uh, Dow up. Three points. It's trading out at 16,778. S&P up uh, three as well, trading at 1939. NASDAQ up 11 points, trading at 4321. Russell 2000 up three points right now, trading at 1165. NASDAQ 100 up nine. Goldilocks is flat. It's up 70 cents, so no big deal out there. Silver is uh, down two pennies, so that's flat at 1963. Light sweet crude. Up six pennies. It is flat out here. We've got flat markets and almost, in essence, really, across the uh, board out here in the indexes, in the uh, commodities that uh, we primarily uh, focus on. We uh, left the last show here. I was just about to uh, take a look at the uh, chart for the uh, Euro-Japanese yen. Let's go put that up on the uh, screen out here right now. Let's take a look at that. We uh, track this currency pair because this pair currency pair tracks the U.S. stock market better than any other out here. Now, what we're watching is... We're watching the point seven eight six Gertley buy pattern that slightly failed. I say slightly failed because we saw a close below the point seven eight six area, just slightly below it, which was on June the twelfth. When I mean slightly below it, if I take a look at the actual point seven eight six retracement, if I come from the low off the swing point from February fourth to the high that was put in here on March the seventh, what you'll see is the actual point seven eight six swing point set swing point the point seven eight six retracement. Is 137.84. And we saw, and even though it, it formed that, because we use this as a guideline out here, so it did form a, a uh, 0.786 Gartley buy pattern, and it did that on the trading session of May 29th. Now, some of you may be saying, hey, what does that really matter, you know, whether it's a, a Gartley or you know, or some other pattern, or just a straight retracement to uh, to that uh, level there of the 137.84. Gartley pattern, you know, if you follow H.M. Gartley's book, Page 222, one of his favorite uh, trading patterns that are out there in the formation of a lightning bolt, an A to B equals CD to the uh, downside. In our case, we take a look at expansions of swing points because we use Fibonacci uh, numbers uh, because it's just a mathematical exercise and it really helps uh, helps to, for whatever reason, identify areas of support and resistance out here. And when you can get multiple Fibonacci numbers to come together at the same time, that's what we see take place out here inside the Euro-Japanese yen because it did about a 1.6 minute expansion. That's also a Fibonacci number of its B to C swing point. That means the low of March 28th to the high that was put in on April the 2nd out there. And at the same time that it was doing that, it was also making a .786 retracement of the set of swing points that I've already mentioned to you. Now, we did see price close slightly below it, and that was on June 12th. But the very next trading session, it got back inside there. So it was kind of like, hey, I slipped and fell but it was able to find its footing out there. So the pattern has not failed here yet. Today's candle, this is the daily chart that we're looking at. Today's candle, if we could form a hammer candle, would say, hey, the bulls want to defend that 0.786 Gartley buy pattern. 
And that's important because really we never got a true bullish reversal candle signal on the euro japanese yen as it formed this pattern out here we did see a move higher out there uh, however it was not much of a move higher because if we just simply go from a retracement high of april 29th down to that low you're going to see it was just above a 0.382 retracement and that's just of the shorter term time frame if we take a look at the real uh, first level of any gartley buy or sell pattern it would have and it actually I guess it really completed that it would have taken us to the 140.18 area we actually saw price get up to 140.08 so that is a 10 pips away that is uh, close enough for me out there and that it made its uh, dead cat bounce however and a retracement is likely as normal when you do that but you're not normally a retracement is not to come all the way back and test the lows out here well in this case that's what it's done we'll see how today's session ends out here but at the moment it's forming a nice little hammer candle and that would be saying that it wants and that's what the bulls certainly want to be able to see out here is they want to see this pattern here not fail want to see it succeed and nothing could be better than seeing some type of bullish reversal signal here uh, today we'll have to check back in on that uh, tomorrow, though, when we see how the actual session ends. If I take a look at an intraday chart out here, here is the 120-minute uh, chart. We're going to see that, uh, you know, price... We did have a, a price relative strength divergent pattern. That means that price made a lower low as it was moving down into that uh, session that we were looking at on the uh, daily chart. That was the low down into the 5 p.m. time frame on June the 12th out there. It made a lower low. It did it with less relative weakness out there. And then we did see a bullish candlestick, a reversal signal. So that low is really important. That low, again, being 1.3765. And that is what's going on inside our friend the euro japanese yen let's go take a look at the uh, etf structure out here let's go see what we can find on the etf structures let's go take a look at the uh, queues first we'll take a look at the uh, daily chart for the uh, queues let's put that up on our screen out here the daily chart shows that we've got a, a relatively new market profile out here if you watch us on tiger tv those are the horizontal lines going across my screen out here and the uh, queues would get very bullish if they can break through 9302 if it cannot break through 9302 we're just simply moving between 9302 and about 92 231, kind of a very narrow banded range out here. But that's just simply the market has, in essence, been moving sideways ever since uh, June the uh, 6th out here with not a whole lot of uh, movement. So the key number to be watching for today is 9302. Of course, at 9302, let me see here, the swing point high of a small A to B equals CD would be, let's see, the high A, 9302, 92, 96. 9302 it is. That's the swing point out here from the trading session of June the 11th. And that high has got 22 million shares. Uh, and if you can get above that with 20, with more than 22 million shares, you'd have a small A to B equals CD to the upside. You say, Steve, what would that look like? Well, I would use this right here. I would just simply come down to the uh, swing low right here of about uh, June the uh, 4th. Use that as your A point. Your B point would be that 9302. Your C point is the uh, next trading session. One to one says 93, 94 out there. I'd have to say 93, 94 to maybe 94, 50 or so. But first, it's got to be able to get above that swing point and at least needs to get above that uh, resistance area of its market profile. That was the Q's on a daily basis. Let's go take a look at the Russell 2000. Let's take a look at the IWM on a daily chart out here. The IWM says it needs to get above its unfair high, its resistance level, which is a 116.84. 116.84 is a number. You're trading at 116.08. If you can get above, quite frankly, the high of June 9th, that number is 117.48. If it can do that with more than 44 million shares, you'd have a confirmed a to B equals CD to the upside, a small one. You say, where would that take it to price-wise? Let me tell you where that would take it to. Your A point would be the low down here from June 3rd. Your B point would be that swing high from June 9th. Your C point would be Friday session, that low out at 114.66. That would take you up to a price level of about 121.03, maybe even 122.76. That is on the Russell 2000 or the IWM in order to track the Russell 2000. But it needs to get above 116.84 first, and then it needs to get above 117.48 in order for that to come to any kind of fruition. Let's go take a look at the SPY. Right now we've got the SPY trading out at 116.10. 
It's up 54 cents. It is also going to try to run into resistance at 116.84. At 116.84, it's trading inside its most recent swing point of June 9th. That has volume of 44 million shares. Let's pull this up on the screen for you. 44 million shares so far today in just the uh, first, uh, got, we got covered, in the first uh, 46 minutes of trading, we've seen volume of 4 million shares. Now, no mathematician out here. But four, five, we'll give it uh, five times six. It's going to be light on volume even out of the gate out here. That means very light on volume. That means a, a light volume today. Nonetheless, volume, schmolium, volume or not. What the spies need to do in order to continue their surge forward, they need to get above 116.84. If they can get above that high of 117.4. Oh, that's the IWM again. What the heck happened there? I thought I hit spy. I did. My apology for that, folks. Jeez. All right. We're just going to reverse all that. We're going to start over here. I don't know how that happened. All right. Inside the uh, spy out here, it's unfair high. Its resistance level is going to be 195.64. 195.64. The swing point from June 9th, that's got volume of 65 million shares. So the IWM, just to go back there from a volume standpoint, that is a light volume um, today as it heads into that uh, swing point. Anything can happen. 65 million shares on the June 9th swing point for the SPY out here. So far today, it's done 19 million shares. So 20. That's actually got pretty good volume inside the SPYs here this morning. Uh, it's unfair. Low is 194.01. So closing above 194.01 would be uh, neutral to uh, bullish. And closing above 195.64 would be very bullish. Of course, what it needs to do, especially as it comes to that swing point, if it can maintain this volume. Now, We've used smaller swing points here inside of the uh, inside of the other ETFs. You'd almost have to really, in this case, come all the way back to the. Uh, that could that be one heck of a leg? That would be coming back to the swing point low of June fifteenth. Here's what I. Here, I'm going to come back to June fifteenth. Let's take a look at the retracement thus far here. So you've got volume so far this morning. Retracement. If I come down to the uh, June fifteenth low to the high that was put in on the uh, trading session of uh, June 9th. So far, uh, what we've seen is uh, not even close to a point three eight two retracement. Please. That's uh, pretty strong. Strong like bull out there. 192.39 would have been a point three eight two retracement. Let me go ahead and uh, delete that because if it, in fact, takes out that uh, swing point, you'd have to say that the A to B equals CD pattern to the upside would actually take your A point would be your May 15th low, your B point would be your June 9th high, and your C point being last Thursday's uh, session out here. Uh, that's what I would be drawn in. That says uh, 202, 205. That gets you into the 2,000 range inside of the S&P 500 out there. So the very first thing, the, the signal, a signal that that's going to uh, are likely unfold, uh, one of your signals would be, in fact, uh, closing above the uh, swing point from June the 9th out here. So it's close enough to its unfair high, the resistance, 195.64. I'd have to say that high of 196.05 is very important. Right now, we've got the uh, Dow. It is... Uh, Trading up 12 points, S&P up 4.5. We'll be right back. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different future contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. 
This Red Lake Green Light Market Profile System dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now, you can receive a free two-week trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now is the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Traditionally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We've got the uh, Dow up uh, 13 points, S&P is up 4, NASDAQ uh, 100 is up uh, 9 points, Russell 2000 up about a quarter of a percent out here. So you've got uh, Russell 2000 and NASDAQ Composite both up a quarter of a percent out here. So they're leading the charge the upside. Man, Philadelphia Semiconductor Index up another 6 tenths of a percent out here today. So that is uh, bullish. The uh, volatility index, it's trading out at 12.35 out there. It's testing that 50-day uh, exponential moving average, but has not been able to close above that uh, level there. And that's a key area that we want to be uh, paying attention uh, to. But, you know, the combination of the uh, we looked at the uh, daily chart for the euro, Japanese yen, the combination of that holding that area with the uh, VIX not being able to uh, get above its 50-day uh, exponential moving average. It's close, but it is no cigar out here. That's in the 1270 type area, so we're not that far from it. It's trading at 1235 right now, but... All of that is pointing to continued moves higher out here. Let's go take a look at the uh, SOX uh, index. Let's take a look at that. Let me find a. Let's take a look. Let's use the. Uh, let's use this chart here. It takes a look at the weekly as well as the uh, daily. Let's go check out the real strength out here. I mean, this market will not go lower without the uh, semiconductors uh, going with it. And uh, this thing, boy, this is just on a weekly chart, which is the upper portion of the uh, chart. It's been in uh, strong like bull mode since September of 2013 out here. Nearly, uh, nearly a full solid year without any give at all. 
without any give at all on the uh, weekly uh, time frame. Yeah, we've seen some retracements in the uh, daily uh, chart out here. We've seen price, in essence, come and test the uh, a 50-day exponential moving average. We actually saw price close below it for a couple trading sessions, February 4th, 5th, and the uh, 6th out here. But then got right back above it, stayed above it. We saw another test of that area for one trading session on April 14th, that 50-day really acting as a, a strong level of support for the uh, SOX. So this thing here, there's just uh, nothing that looks weak about the uh, SOX index. Let's uh, did have a request to go take a look at the XLF. Uh, we'll, do that, um, we'll do that right now. And that's for Angie in the uh, Tiger's Den out here. What we'll also do is we'll go take a look at A to B equals CD patterns inside of the uh, SOX. And we'll, 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 we'll utilize, I'll switch back and forth. We'll take a look at an in-depth analysis of the uh, SOX as well as the financials because both of those are really critical and very helpful from a, a bullish standpoint inside of the uh, market. So we do take a look at the XLF out here. Well, you know, today it's uh, forming a hammer candle, but we're just too early into the uh, trading session out here. It's found support at its uh, 8-ish, 9-ish uh, day exponential moving average out here. That's really all that it's testing. Uh, this, the uh, financials, the XLF, they could pull back to the uh, 2219 level. That's its 50-day exponential moving average. But uh, it did have a, a bearish signal on here as it had made the high, made uh, one of the, the most bearish uh, reversal candles that are out there. When you take a look at a two-candle session, that's called a bear separating line. It's like a, a gap uh, down. In this case here, you don't have to totally gap. If you take a look at the trading session on June 11th, you can see it closed at a session high. That was at 2281. Well, it takes a lot of strength in essence, in theory, in reality, to open up below even the open of the prior day session. That creates the bear separating line out there. So that is a little bit bullish, bearish, I should say, on the uh, daily chart. But if you look at the uh, weekly chart out here, Really no real bearish signs at all. So it all depends on the time frame that you're looking at. Remember, the longer-term time frame is the one that we should be watching because it gives us a better feel for what the longer-term trend is. And even with the financial sector, well, I guess I screwed something up there. Let me do this, see if I can bring it. Let me just actually do this. Should have done that to begin with. Let me reload reload and see if it brings us back. No, I didn't do it. I think I really messed that up. That's the left-hand side of the chart out here. So uh, um, so what was I going to uh, say? It's an excellent question because I noticed that the chart was screwed up. Basically, what I was going to say is, is, is the, uh, I wish there was some way to raise it. I can't. Hmm. Let me try this. One more thing out here. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now I come back to the XLF and it ought to work. All right, let's see if it does. Okay, great. So here's the XLF. Here's a longer-term chart out here. And, you know, it's really been in a, a strong, strong, strong bullish trend. Really, the trend, as you pull this back, really changed on this thing to uh, bullish back in July of 2012. So as somewhat weak, if we go back and we take from a historical perspective and take a look at the uh, financial sector, if you take a look at the Rose Momentum, signals out here and that's really what I'm looking at when I define the uh, trend that way what I can do is this incorporates volume this incorporates uh, momentum this incorporates verticality this incorporates volatility it incorporates it all out here and really helps us to uh, understand the power of the uh, trend out here and this thing has been in full strong bullish mode on a weekly basis going back into the 2012 time frame out here that's on the XLF Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We'll be right back, folks. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading, and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex box spreads.
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now is a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mobile.com in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 12, S&P is up 4, Composite up 10, uh, Russell 2000 up a couple of points. Now let's go back and take a look at both the Sox and the... Uh, and the XLF. Let's take a look at uh, those. Where did I put that right here? Okay, let's take a look at the XLF. Now, I've got the weekly chart up on my screen as we speak right now. And the weekly chart shows the uh, market profile resistance level at 2265. So that's a very important area for the uh, XLF to, to clear. It doesn't necessarily have to clear it this week, but if it did clear 2265 this week, that would be uh, bullish. If we take a look at it's um, on a weekly chart out here, if we take a look at a swing point, the swing point uh, being March 17th. We'll see volume out there at 288 million shares. Now, that level, by the way, the swing point high on that happens to be 2265. You're trading right now at, what, uh, 22, uh, 2256 out here. But we did see a close above that on the trading session of June 2nd. However, very light volume, 116 million shares. Nonetheless, a close above resistance of 2265 would be bullish. So this chart here still looks pretty bullish, and that's the weekly chart. Daily chart... says it's got a little bit of trouble out here and the uh, trouble is it's trading below the unfair low and so you really uh, wouldn't uh you wouldn't want to be looking at getting uh, too uh, too bullish on this. It's more of a neutral 
position uh, because uh, until until at least it gets above twenty two seventy one. So you're twenty two fifty six right now. Twenty two seventy one would give uh, promise. And then on the daily chart, the uh, potential swing point you're really watching is June the ninth out there. That's got thirty two million shares, and the high of that session is twenty two oh seven. Let's take a look at the uh, socks. Let's look at that. Now the market profiles that show up on this, we don't really use those. On the index, I just can't, I don't want, I'm not going to turn them off on the uh, chart out here. But what I wanted to look at was really any A to B equals CD patterns that, uh, that show up on our screen out here of significance. And uh, the one that I would use here on the daily chart, what I would do is I'd come down to the uh, low of February 5th. That would be my A point. My B point out here is going to be April 3rd. And the uh, C point is the retracement down into the low on April the 11th. And we'll see here that just the one to one A to B equals CD says the Sox still has a gap to get up probably to the 647.90 level. You're at 631.02 right now. So you're talking about, what, another uh, 16 uh, points and change out there is where it looks like the uh, Sox wants to uh, trade up to. That's just simply on an A to B. That's, that's quite frankly a first objective. I can I can make the case that it more likely wants to trade up into the uh, one, uh, I'm sorry, the 672 area and you're trading at uh, 630 as we speak right now but uh target range should be 647 to 672 and that is on the uh, Sox uh, index uh, out there uh, you know, one of the, I brought up the erodes momentum uh, trading strategies. One of the tools I've been working with is a, a black box system out here. And uh, this is a, it's an auto trading uh, system, trades in uh, both directions. This is uh, for the ES Mini. That's what I actually have on my screen here right now. And what this uh, does, it uh, it both uh, it, it takes long trades, exits long trades, uh, takes short trades, exits those, does everything uh, automatically based on the uh, parameters that I have uh, given it as the artificial intelligence because you know when it comes to me it probably is more artificial than anything else but it's my version of artificial intelligence inside a uh, system out here these uh, little dots that you see on the screen these reflect the uh, stops so uh, when you're going long your stops are going to be below it when you're going short the stops are going to be above it and it's uh, adjusting uh, stops out here and the signal that I just got during this uh, trading session here that we are in was actually a little long signal. So this morning I had tried taking a, a short, even though I didn't, not, not this was inside the uh, newsletter, even though we did not have a, a short signal on this time frame because of some other conditions that were present and that were out there, went ahead and took a, uh, a quick short position. We've exited that short position based on everything else that I've seen inside the uh, market. My expectation still, though, tells me that this market does want to move to lower price, but the evidence that's just uh, my get that's some other charts that I'm looking at but the weight of evidence right now and uh, you know I don't want to go against my uh, when I was neutral when it was neutral to take a, a short position that was one thing when all of a sudden this flipped to uh, taking a, a long position this is the first trade here in the momentum move out here it doesn't mean it's going to work um, uh, just means, but I did get a, a signal to go along at nine nineteen thirty fifty out there, and that is inside the uh, ES Mini. So I did send out an update during the break to all of my clients and said, "Hey, that trade we were in, let's just uh, close that out. Let's just take a, a small loss, and we will go from there and uh, just wait for some more further information because we always jump back in on that trade or when similar to it. But right now, the weight of evidence says uh, no, not just yet." Yet out here. Had a request to go take a look at uh, ticker symbol NWBO. That is for, uh, let's see, a therapeutics company out here. Let me move down here. That is uh, Northwest Biotherapeutics out here. And congratulations to Angie in the Den. She's got a, a nice uh, gain on this here. Uh, so right now it's trading out at uh, 826. So let's pull this back, see what this is likely to uh, do. So what I'm looking at here, Angie, is we look at this doctor. I'm paying attention to the swing point. Probably you are as well. That is the March 11th swing point out there that has nice, that has volume up at that high, which is really nice. So it probably was one of the uh, things that uh, Angie was looking at when she got into this trade in the uh, $5 area. So she's had a nice gain out there. 
And if we take a look at it, uh, it's trading into that swing point, the low of which is, by the way, right now, 825. So you're trading at 823. So it's traded up into that. Now, the swing point volume up there uh, is a total of 8.4 million shares. Uh, Friday, you were moving into it, 1.7. Today, 1.2. So what's nice is that you've got accelerated volume here this morning trading into that uh, swing point. You'd surely like it to close inside 8. 25 today um, because it's not going to, it doesn't look like it's going to have enough volume. Well, I don't know. We've been trading for an hour. And that's got 8 million shares and it's done 1.2. So, 6, that would be, even if it traded the same volume for the next, uh, for the next uh, five and a half hours out there, mathematically speaking, it's going to be, would be close. It would be 6. It would be six, uh, six point six probably, if it could keep up the same pace versus eight. So it looks like it's going to be light on volume, but that's okay. Let it cl- let it close inside that, assuming that it does eight twenty five, and then um, you know let it go test the highs out there. You know somewhere right around the eight sixty uh, mark. Let's uh, the uh, daily chart. The, uh, the 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 market profile is not going to help you out because you're way above that. That was at the five fifty five range out there, so you're way above that. So that's nothing to uh, be focused on. Let's look at the weekly time frame for Angie out here. The weekly time frame says uh, says what? Wow. Well, there's no real volume out here. Take this 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 uh, psycho candle from uh, the week of September 24th the stock went from a high of $20 down to a low of 456 oh man that what that was some volatility inside of uh, that so on the weekly chart weekly chart uh, you know probably a support on this because its old resistance is down too low for you as well 602 so i would just continue to adjust the uh, stop but you're certainly inside that candle on light volume on the weekly basis and uh, looks like it wants uh, certainly higher price i would just simply Take a look at some derivative of the, if you're not already, of the average true range. Let me go find that uh, for you here real quickly. I'll use my uh, calculator. NWBO is a ticker symbol, NWBO. And what I'm quickly doing, folks, is just taking a look at what the last 10 days average true range is. And it comes in at a price level of $0.53 cents out there. So at $0.53, cents, I would use some derivative of that. If you want, what you can always do on a uh, stock like this, and I don't know if your holding time frame is long term, short term, intermediate term out there. What you got to do when you know that the when you know you're dealing with 53 cents out here, so you're risking 53 cents because at any day the average true range is 53 cents. You got to expect that kind of uh, movement inside of this uh, equity, and so 53 cents. You're at uh, eight dollars and sixteen cents, uh, and you're trying to shoot for well, that's the weekly. Let me put this. Why, the, why is the weekly? The daily should have had that same high out there. Maybe I. Let me just make sure I was got the right swing point out here. Let me pull this back here. I must have. I must have looked at the ten dollars and fifty. No. Uh, yeah, ten sixty four. Yeah, it's worth it actually. And I think it's worth it in this case here to. Uh, um, you know, say your risk reward. You know, right now you're risking fifty three cents to make uh, a couple of bucks. So, yeah, I mean, for all intents and purposes, you should stay inside of this uh, trade out here, and that is NWBO. Let's take a look at it on the daily and on the uh, weekly, and that was for our Tigress Angie in the uh, den out here. Let's go take a look at uh, what else is moving in the uh, market uh, right now this morning. Come on, come back here. Let's go see what is uh, what movers we've got going on today. So you've got the Covidian PLC. That was a buyout. Uh, it's trading up uh, 21%. you got Williams Companies. That's a, a nice move up 23%. Bluebird up 43%. Here's a new one. Lithia Motors. LAD is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's go see what this laddie is uh, doing out here. Uh, boy, you got some nice uh, volume inside this equity here today. Let's go take a look at what it's doing well above its unfair high out here. So that says uh, support on this ought to be 80.65. It's trading at 87.76. So far today, it's got vol- has volume of 772,000 shares out there. So that is uh, that is got some nice volume out here. This uh, looks like we're going to go take a look at the uh, weekly chart to figure out it's A to B equals CD to give a, a better price objective to see where this is headed to. Let's pull this back. Ooh, let's not pull this back that far. Let's, uh, wow. Let's see if this thing actually took out a uh, swing point with volume. 
Looks like it, it has not. So on a weekly chart here, October 21st, 2013, at 5.7 million shares. So it's up above that level with a couple million shares at max. Uh, however, today it's got 775,000 shares. But, you know, it passed that B point with light volume. I'd have to say... I don't know what I would say on this. I'd just take a look at expansions. As far as where this thing might uh, trade to, let me see what the 1.272 expansion is. It's really trading right into it as we speak right now. 88.15 is the uh, number. You're at 87.94. So maybe that's where uh, this lad, laddie, runs out of uh, gas. But uh, nice uh, trading session here today. LAD is a ticker symbol. Lithia Motors to the upside. Intuitive Surgical is up about uh, nine bucks right now. Let's go see what uh, what uh, Intuitive Surgical is uh, trading into. Again, we're going to take a look at a. We'll switch this back to a, a daily time frame out here for see if it's running into some kind of resistance out here. Well, it's in trading into the gap. So it's trading into the gap that was formed here on the trading session between April 22nd and April the 23rd out there with volume of uh, two million shares to the uh, downside out here. Let me try to stretch this out just a, a tad. No, not uh, worthwhile. Uh, volume on Friday, as it uh, tested the uh, resistance level, it had volume of only 558,000 uh, shares out there. But it looks like this thing is going to go test the uh, the top of the gap. That means somewhere right around the low of uh, 415.64 out there. And that is on intuitive uh, surgical. If we take a look at retracements as well, if we come from the retracement high, or the swing point high, I should say, of April 3rd, uh, down to the uh, low that was uh, put in here. That was on the uh, trading session of May the 9th. That was at uh, 346.46 out here. What we'll see is that the uh, 0 0.382 retracement, which also happens to line up with the uh, bottom of the uh, gap from April 22nd uh, out here, that is likely, again, where it is headed to. If it closes the gap out there, your question might be, where will it move next? Where it would move next is intuitive surgical would be the 0.618 retracement, which also happens to be the um, bottom of another gap. So this thing had two gaps to the uh, downside out here. No three-gap play to the downside. The uh, first gap took place on April 9th, and this had volume to the downside of uh, 2.6 million shares. So if it can close inside the candle session, I'd have to say close above, 431.63, Intuitive Surgical will likely run to 466.83 or so out there. Uh, it is above its uh, unfair high. So that says on the uh, daily chart out here, it's got freedom to run to the upside. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Let's go see if it's got any resistance out here that uh, shows up on our uh, screen. And uh, resistance says about 449.30. So right now it's just trying to close above the uh, 404-ish area. Uh, gets above its unfair low. That would also be short-term bullish. 403.24, by the way, is that number. That would also be short-term bullish on a weekly chart of intuitive surgical. It is only Monday, though, but those are the numbers that you could uh, bank on if you were trading intuitive uh, surgical. Let's take a look at uh, Chipotle. That's up five bucks out here. CMG is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's go see what it's doing on a uh, weekly time frame. Well, weekly time frame says it's trading inside its swing point from March 17th out there. That swing point has got volume of uh, 2.8 million shares. Last week it got up into it with 2.4 million shares. Okay, not bad. Let's go see. Was it expanding volume from the prior week? It most certainly was. So it's moving into a swing point with expanding volume. Not still enough volume to take out the highs out here. Well, it can do what it wants, right? The high out here would be 622.90, and it does look like that's what it wants to uh, go at least test. That is on a weekly chart that we're looking at, and that was Chipotle. CMG is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's take a look at the uh, daily chart out here. Look like an old A to B equals CD. Let's get rid of that out here. Uh, that is uh, Chipotle is uh, moving in on, in. Chipotle is moving above. I'll get it out. Don't worry. Above a huge downdraft. So this must be a reversal. I do show that is also the earnings date out here. So uh, Chipotle now making above that high, which was 588.69. Nowhere near the volume, though. That had 3.8 million shares on that. Nonetheless, getting above that old resistance could become new support. 877-927-6648. Be right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? 
Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Masters Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy. A set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, Unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, kind of a flattish uh, market out here. Dow's up 7, S&P is up uh, 3, uh, Russell 2000 up a point or so, New York Stock Exchange up uh, 13. Key number to be watching today is in the NYSE, which the uh, Bears still have control of the market. They haven't been able to do any kind of damage price-wise out here, and that's going to be 743. 743 or more net advancing issues, and the uh, bulls take back control of the market. They will have pushed the summation index to the upside, and then that probably brings into fruition that move. We took a look at the uh, SPY out there. Of course, if the SPY can close above its swing point, that brings into play the 2,000 level inside of the uh, S&P 500. We also want to watch the uh, VIX index. VIX index uh, today 
Uh, it, it continues to hammer away to try to get above the 50-day exponential moving average. And it's close. It's close. It's still no cigar. 1270 is a number. 1270-ish, I should say. Uh, it's trading at 1252 right now. If it gets above that, then uh, you're not going to see the new, typically you're not going to see the New York Stock Exchange have 743 net advancing issues. And then we have to be very cautious with regard to, uh, not cautious, I'd say, at this stage, uh, you, you know, in one case, you want to see the uh, the VIX get above that area and get a little bit of a deeper retracement and a better pattern, you know, some type A to B equals CD or retracement in order to uh, take the remaining summer long position, which I suspect we're going to see the markets uh, move higher in through mid-August or so out there. But we'll take this thing one day at a time. If we go take a look at the uh, weekly chart, we did finish the week last uh Obviously, last Friday out here, boy, that was one heck of a sentence, wasn't it? Let's take a look at the weekly chart out here for the NASDAQ composite, see if we see anything uh, bearish about uh, its uh, candle signals. Uh, no, not really. It does need to clear this uh, price relative strength divergent high out here, which was uh, formed when we had this little bear sash candle the week of March 14th. So the composite getting above 43.7171, that would be very bullish out here. But at this stage, uh, things look uh, pretty long and strong on the weekly chart for the uh, composite. The Dow Jones Industrials, well, Dow Jones Industrials here, um, is that right? June 13th? June 13th, uh, what is uh, today? June 16th. That was last week. I don't know why I don't have uh, this week's uh, candle session on here. That is uh, strange. Hmm. I've had some strange things going on on this uh, system out here. I'm going to skip. Well, last week was a dark cloud cover, but, you know, that's just a, that's like the weatherman in Florida sticking their head out the window and saying it looks like it's going to rain out there. I uh, Usually they don't get that right. Let's take a look at the transports. The transports out here. The transports uh, last week had a, uh, had a very bearish reversal signal. Not just was it a bear sash candle, but what it also was was a key reversal. So on a weekly chart, the Dow Jones transports out here gave you a, a key reversal signal. When was the last time that they formed a key reversal signal in the uh, market? Well, they actually did this back here on uh, December the uh, 6th, and we saw market just kind of move back and uh, move slowly. It never really got, you can see it's in light blue mode out here. It never got into a uh, bearish mode or anything. Right now we're just in the cautionary mode. It would need to close below 7840.80 in order for it to uh, get a little bit more than just cautious out there. So the transports giving you the largest reversal signal in the markets uh, that I recall last week. If we take a look at the NDX 100, nothing bearish about its pattern last week. If we take a look at the New York Stock Exchange, I did mention that the uh, bears have control of the market. However, if you look at the weekly chart, one would have to say, really? That's the best that the uh, bears were able to do. There's absolutely nothing bearish about that signal, about these candles inside of the uh, New York Stock Exchange. Folks, it is, uh, it is uh, what is today's Monday. So it's marvelous Monday, magnificent Monday. That means we've got our man Basil Chapman. He's in the on-depth circle. He's going to go ahead and uh, get on base. I'm not sure if he's going to hit a single, a double, or bunt his way on. Then we got Larry Pesavento. He's going to move him over to third. Daryl Martin, he's going to load him up. And David White and Tom O'Brien. One of them is going to hit a grand slam today. Have a great Monday, folks. Take care. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.